They asked her, What is real happiness? She answered, Happiness is not fulfilling every pleasure or getting every outcome you desire. Happiness is being able to enjoy life with a peaceful mind that is not constantly craving for more. It is the inner peace that comes with embracing change. By Young Pueblo When March began, I traveled home to my family because my birthday was right around the corner and I chose to celebrate with my whole family this year as I was turning 30. I enjoyed going on walks with my mama and our dogs, Ruby and Ollie, especially in the forests where the first flowers appeared and brightened the area around the still leafless trees. On the next day, I woke up and had entered a new decade of my life. The first thing I did was journaling and setting intentions for this new year. Then I spent the day with my whole family, eating delicious vegan cakes, having talks and laughs, and in the evening eating a lot of different Asian food. My boyfriend and his parents even prepared a whole sushi plate for us. It was a wonderful birthday. I stayed for a couple days more, more walks in the forest and wondering when spring would come. I also took the time to practice drawing again and drew our cat Mila chilling between some snowdrops in our garden. Back in Hamburg, I filmed a lot of food and recipe stuff, like the grilled peaches and toast video. Something else I did and what I had been wanting to do for a while was making paintings or wall art for our living room. I drew inspiration from Pinterest, but needed to find my own technique and what material to use. My papa allowed me to take some plaster with me, and I mixed that with a little water and a pot of modeling compound I found at Sistrine Grinne, as early attempts with only plaster and water resulted in not sticking to the canvas. I will make a dedicated video about the paintings once they are done, framed and hanged in the living room above the sofa. But here's a first look at my process. And as I didn't want to just make something, not being sure if I would like the results, I made a plan and some sketches to what I wanted the pieces to look like in the end. 
The overall theme was calmness, stillness, quietness and I came up with some simple organic lines which I would draw on the wet plaster mix. Still, the whole making was kinda intuitive and I hoped the mixture would stick to the canvas. The lines I drew with a chunky black pencil which I have used for many different projects and which I absolutely love. I think I need to buy more of it. As I said, a whole video on the wall art is coming, so to be continued. A couple of days later, it was already mid-March, my bestie Lou invited me over for a belated birthday get-together. She made the most adorable cake with little mushrooms. It looked like straight out of a Ghibli movie. I was spoiled with great presents and after some cake and matcha we went to some shops and burgers at Vincent Vegan afterwards. Another beautiful day. I didn't film much more that month, but I made great memories and I also started working on my balcony garden, as you might have seen in my previous video. Because of my birthday, March will always be my favorite month of the year. It's also the time when everything slowly wakes up from the winter. I hope you liked this short video with some glimpses of my life. Thank you for watching, take care and goodbye. <laughs>